Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome back to another episode of The Planet Crafter. Here we are at our base. I figured we go ahead and start working on some trees. We need a lot of mutagen, so let's get some mutagen. What do I need for that again? So first I need a lot of bacteria samples, so algae and water. Let's go. Things are looking quite nice at our place now. Oh, I also want to see how close we are to getting past trees. Which is where we are currently on our stages. Let's grab some algae. Okay, and have some on the other side. Now, I went ahead, and I don't know if you saw already. Let me pop in here real quick so I can show you. But I did get all the golden chest. Here we go. So currently there's 11 golden chests. I got all 11 of them. And I did see the dead body as well. Let me go show you where the dead body is. Now I had filmed this, but at the time I was reading coordinates in order to find the golden chest locations. And it was just kind of a crap show. <laughs> I don't know if I have a problem with reading coordinates or what. And then I went to a video that I'll link down in the description. And I saw a image of where the golden chest was, and that was so much easier for me to follow for whatever reason. Maybe I'm just more of a visual learner. I don't know. But on over here, right back in here, there is this dead body here. And in the last episode, we found a bunker that had a whole bunch of messages. And if you see here, this is that same message from that guy, Zeodan. So I think this is... Uh, Ziodan, I believe it's called, pronounced, I don't know, maybe, Ziodan. So I think this is him. This is Ziodan here, and we got a whole bunch of stuff in here, just some seeds and a blue chip that we can't use. But that was kind of neat. So I just wanted to show you that and let you know that I did get the golden chest, but again, the link to the video that I used to help me will be down in the description. Other than that, let's go ahead and continue on. Oh, I forgot the algae. No, I got the algae. There just wasn't a lot over here for whatever reason. Maybe I already picked it clean. Let's continue on with terraforming this planet. With our amazing base. Let's go up here and make some of those samples. Oh, I need more water. I got a lot of it downstairs. Water. And I got a lot of algae too. All right, let's see where that puts us. How's our food going? Oh, we need to get more growers as well. Although right now we actually have a surplus of food. We're having to put our food like in other little miscellaneous lockers we've created just because we have too much food. Here we go. All right, now how do I turn this into mutagen? I need methane and sulfur. So let's go downstairs. Let's put our rest of the algae away. So one, two, three, four, five sulfur. One, two, three, four, five, and five methane as well. Let's grab it from here first. That way it can continue to produce and we'll grab one more over here and then we'll be good. Very well. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. How many plants are there in total, I wonder? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just two away. I uh, wonder if I should go ahead and get that. Let me see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. Okay. Water, one, two, three, one, two, three. So now I can make that. Sulfur, one, two, three, and methane, one, two, three. So that should be everything I need, I believe. Pretty sure. Okay. Oh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe I got too much, a little bit too much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, too much. But I do need, like, right here. I need a plant volness in order to make the Amora. I don't see a volness anywhere. I guess we have to find that somewhere. 
methane, sulfur. How are we doing on our stage? 92%? Wow, we're about to get to the stage after that. I'm so interested to know what's after trees. And when will we see these trees? Oh, we're currently at Flora. Oh, duh. Nexus trees. I thought we were at trees now. Damn it. One day. One day. All right. Let's see what we got to make these. So for this one, I need Shanga, Shanga, and tree bark. Shanga and tree bark. Let's see. Shanga, and I think I have extra tree bark somewhere. Maybe it's over here. Yes, tree bark. Okay. So I should be able to make this now. Oh, I need to put it in here. One, two, three. Now I can make it. There it is. Start sequencing. Oh, see, it's going slowly. I wish I would have known. I would have gotten started. Well, let's go ahead and put the other ones that we need. So I need also... This is going to go for this one right here. So then I need Pestera and Tree Bark. Tree Bark and Pestera. So we're just going to put it over here for now. Tree Bark and Pestera. Then I need Tree Bark and Nulia. Or Nulna. Nulna? Tree Bark. Okay. One, two. Then I need Tree Bark and Tuska. Uh, Tuska, I got a lot of that, and tree bark, I need to get more tree bark, oh, that's not it, one, two, and then I need tree bark and orima, I think I got orima from outside, yeah, orima from my journey, is just traveling around, and tree bark, very nice, let's put it all in here so we can just grab it easily. And I need Volness, Tree Bark and Volness and Lerma. Do I have Volness yet? I don't think so. I do have Lerma. And another Tree Bark. I need to go grab some real quick. Up, up, and up. Tree Bark, please. All right, that's all the Tree Bark we need. Now all we need to find is that Volness flower. Boom, boom. Now I just need Volness and I have everything. Let's grab some food. Get a little bit hungry. Let me make another food replicator as well. What do I need for that tier two version? Fertilizer, super alloy, and water. Let's make two. So fertilizer, I got to keep reminding myself. Three algae, so six algae, two sulfur, four eggplant. Two... Four eggplants. One, two, three, four. And six algae. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the fertilizer that we need. One and two. And I also need two super alloys and two water. Water, two, and super alloy. I have a bunch, actually. One, two. All right, these just grow so fast. Now let's get some more seeds. I'll probably get the eggplant because we need eggplant for a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, here I'm trying to get seeds. They're over here. Actually, let's go with the beans and the mushroom. Up, oh, come on. Mushroom and beans. These are already at 73%. Okay, what else can I be doing at this point in time? I think... Let's go look at our blueprints, see what we can do. Oh, you know what? I can make a nuclear fusion generator. That gives me 1,835 energy, whereas this gives me 331. Wow. So in order to make this, I need six Pulsar Quartz and four Alloy. So first things first, let's go ahead and drink some water. I'm going to come over here and drink some water. Now that I have the air or the water filter on me, I'll just go over here and take a little sip. Grab some more algae. Why not? 
while we're in the neighborhood. Any more water? Oh, wow, that fills up quick. Now I got some more stuff to stash. We are super efficient, and that just makes me feel good. So this sorts it. But this just stacks everything in here. See, I have to actually take it out one by one. I wish I can, like, auto-sort it. Like, if I put... Like, only algae can go in here, and then I could just press one button and all the algae goes in there. That'd be nice. Maybe something for full release. Okay. Now, I need the six quartz. And I need one, two, three, four super alloy, right? Yes. And the quartz... One, two, three, four, five, six. Look how prepared I am. All right, here we go. A new, uh, this thing is tiny, wow. Can I put this inside? Oh, I can. Who knew this little thing can make so much energy? I think we'll just put it over here. Just in this corner. That is insane. Wow. Okay. And now if we look at our energy levels... Oh! Wow. Let's make another one, shall we? So in order to make quartz, I think I need one of each item, like osmium, uranium, iridium, and zeolite. Yep. I was right. Wow. Alright, let's get one of each. I got a whole crap ton of zeolite. So, one, two, three, four, five. So I need six quartz. Uh, osmium, one, two, three, four, five. Iridium, one, two, three, four, five. And uranium, two, three, four, five. Now I can make six quartz. Now I need four super alloy. There's one. And let's get the us other ones from here. Two, three, four. So that's going to be pretty much all the energy we could ever really want, I believe. One more, I got to make the quartz real quick. There we are, and down we go. And here we are. Check this out. So much energy. The Energizer Bunny would be jealous. Boom. Now let's check out our energy levels again. All the energy. Wow, almost 6,000. So close to trees. That's going to be so nice. Now, I think we go ahead and make another rocket at this time. So as far as the oxygen levels, I can get one more. And that's the tree spreader too. I am done in heat and I am done in pressure. There is nothing more I can unlock. I got one in oxygen, two in terraformation, and that is it. So, let's start making more rockets. Let's come up here and see exactly what we need. I got a lot of engines now. Let's go with this oxygen multiplier. So, two super alloys, bacteria, mutagen, and tree bark. Okay, we need a whole bunch of that mutagen, don't we? And we need a lot more bacteria, too. And let's go see if there's any more tree bark. I know we just grabbed some. We have one. Okay. We might wait a little bit on that. I do need to find that other plant as well. The bolus or whatever. Let's go look around a little bit. See what we can find. We got an oxygen on us, so we're good with that. Turn our little light, which does hardly nothing at night. That's okay. See if we can't find this other plant somewhere out here. I see zeolite up there. That zeolite is everywhere, I swear. It is not rare. Once you get to flora stage, it is everywhere. I have almost a container full of this, and I already used a, a bit of it. The forest I have unlocked. That's my next achievement for unlocking the tree stage. Let's come down here. I'm looking for these flowers. I don't know if I'll find them. See, here's another 
Oria or whatever. We already got that. Plant Orima. I need to find the other one. Volus. Another Zeolite here. Just chilling. Thank you. Let's go up. Oh, this is almost underwater too. It's getting close. Very nice. Get a little drinky. Because why not? We can get a drink whenever we want to now. Ice doesn't matter and neither does our water filter. Our water filter is strictly for crafting at this point. I never need to carry water with me, ever. Completely overrides that survival mechanic. Not sure how I feel about that. At one point it's kind of like, oh that's nice, I don't have to worry about it anymore. But at the other point it's like, okay, th that makes the game even more relaxing and casual. Which is a appealing thing to some, for sure. If you want a really chill terraformation game, then this is the game for you, obviously. It is very relaxed. Look how high we are. That reminds me of that. <laughs> how high are you? Hi, how are you? I don't see any plants out this way. Maybe it's out on the other side. We'll go check over there. I know there's a big grassy area there as well. I am super excited to see the trees start popping up. Oh, Lerma. That's going to be neat to see. Oh yeah, and then now we can see what's the stage after trees. Alright, skip back. I'm going to try the other side. I don't think there's going to be much over there on that side. I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments, if uh, Volus is over there. It's possible, but part of me doubts it. I think it might be more likely to be over here. There's a big grassy and watery area that way. I'm just cruising on through. Not a whole lot to do, just chilling. Trying to get some rockets going. I want that oxygen rocket. Heat rocket and pressure rocket no longer means anything to me. Unless it's, I want resources, but I have these ore extractors, so I don't really need resources either. I'm not sure what else I need the power for, honestly. I guess I can make more drills. And more heaters to terraform faster. I guess I can make... I don't know, more... Something. More extractors. I know I can do another tier 2 ore extractor in a uranium cave, probably. Oh, let's put you away. Let me go check on my food. It should be about ready. Yeah, these guys go so fast. Oh, these are almost done. What is that? 91%. Here you go. And here you go. Go ahead and eat one of those bad boys. Get one of those eggplants down. Put the other one away. Okay, so trees are starting. Insects is next. Oh, that's going to be cool. Alright, so I think we'll go ahead and do... Let me put this away. My zeolite and my quartz. Zeolite and quartz. And I got a tree bark here. Let me go check on my tree bark. Do I have any more? Yes. Let's go down, go down, and down. Maybe I'll do another heater. Let's see. What do I need? Explosive powder, two iridium rods, and super alloy. Rod. I need two. Let me get two more. Explosive powder. And six super alloy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I can make two more tier four heaters. Here we go. I guess I'll just put these right here. And another one. 
Okay. Now, what about the drills? I need six of the super alloy and three osmium. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's two more drills. We'll put one right here. And we'll put one right over here, maybe? No. There we go. Alright, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drills. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heaters. That's a lot. That is definitely a lot. One, two, three, four, five. And an aluminum. Makes a super alloy. Now, what about the extractor? Let's go put one of those in the uranium cave. So I need three osmium, three super alloy. And what's the other thing? Two rods? Yeah, two rods. One, two. All right. Let me go ahead and get to the uranium cave over here. I guess we can look for that flower while we are at it. Maybe we'll see some trees, who knows? Still fairly early on to the process. Gonna take a little bit longer. Once we unleash that rocket, that'll help speed things up, which we're gonna do after this. Soon as we place down this ore extractor, we'll head back and release that rocket into the atmosphere. Okay, it is going to be on this side. We're close. Right over here on the right. Kind of down a slope. Not this one, but the other one. Let me go ahead and pop in. Get some oxygen real quick. And continue. Uh, it's right down here, I believe. Is it? No, this is Osmium Cave, isn't it? No. Oh, this is a ladder. Hello. I don't remember this. It's been six months since the crash and I'm barely surviving. My main goal is to build a rocket and leave this place forever. This plan is cursed. I can feel it. I have to go back to the crash site. I think there is a secret room in the control bay. A deconstructible wall somewhere near the main screens. But it's been a while, I can hardly remember. Do we we haven't been in here. Whoa, okay. Weird. I thought we'd been everywhere pretty much at this point, but no, we still missed an area. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm not complaining about that at all. That's awesome. Now, one thing I am complaining about is I have no water, and I am running very low, so I would like to continue to the uranium cave, but I'm a little bit nervous. I know there's water right over here, so let's go get a drink real quick. Yeah, right here by this thing, there's some blue water. Let's go get a little drinky, and we'll continue on our way. There we go. Gauge already full. Yeah, it's a little bit more this way. Let's get that oxygen one more time. Might hit it on the way back as well. Hit that oxygen, bruh. Here we go. I think it's down here, actually. On this right side. Yes. Here it is. Here is the uranium cave. So if I put this in here. I get uranium. Nice. Real nice. Let's go up. Maybe I'll get that other tree root. Once I get the trees, or that other plant I need, once I get trees going. 
That's a possibility. Okay, with our oxygen now, we should make it all the way back. Let's see if our DNA research has completed, and then we'll make that rocket. I can't wait to see the trees come up and the insects. I wonder what kind of insects we're going to get. Like dragonflies, butterflies. Who knows? We are definitely going to find out, though, and it's going to be awesome. Whoop. Let's go this way. Mm -mm -mm. What a nice game. I am super looking forward to the full release of this game. This game has a lot of potential. Uh, we will be trying a new map for full release for sure. Okay, let's head over here real quick. How we doing? Hey, we got our seed. Next. Boom, boom, boom. And research. One, two, three. Research, please. There we go. So what do I do with this? Can I plant it? I wonder. No. It's an oxygen multiplier. Oh, we got some... What is this? Iridium? What is this? Oh! Right on top of my heater. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. We don't want to get hit by this. That almost killed us last time. What kind of ores are we talking about here? That's cobalt. That's not what it is. Okay, there's a lot of meteors coming down. That's a lot. I'm going to head back inside for right now. What am I doing again with this stuff? Oh, I got this stuff. I looted it. One, two, three, four, sulfur, one, two, quartz, I'll put in the miscellaneous as well, one, two, three, uh, zeolite goes over here, nope, right here. Tree seed linifolia. Maybe that's when I get the tree spreader, because I don't think I can do this, can I? Nope. Yeah, I can't do that. I guess I'll hold on to it for now. I don't know what to do with this currently. I know we have a tree spreader we can do at some point. Where is it? Tree spreader. Insert a tree seed to grow you trees. That's what it's for. Okay. Oh, I see. So we're going to get seven of these bad boys. Find blueprints and decode it here. We can't do that. I wish we could. Just to show. Just to show you. In case you're curious. If you hadn't seen it. No more blueprints to decode for now. So any blue chip microchips we find are useless at this point. Kind of a waste of space. I might as well just throw them out into the atmosphere. Just drop them here. There you go. That looks nice. Little decoration. How we doing? Oh, I thought I said research. Did I not research? Start sequencing. Ah, I forgot to start sequencing. Okay. 0.3%. Wow, okay. What is this? Oh, it's like a little yellow dot coming in. Uh, let's make a rocket. That's what I said I wanted to do next. So it was, what, two super alloy? We need the bark. Let's go find if we can get any more bark. There we go. Plenty of bark. Plenty of bark. Food. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. Eat. Eat. Okay, two more eggplants, always good to have. Boom, boom. Okay, I got plenty of bark. What was the other things? I think I need engine and two alloy. Is that right? Engine. Oh, here it is. Oh, I need the bacteria and mutagen. One tree bark, two super alloys. 
And we need the engine. I might launch two. Two super alloys, so we're gonna need four. Was it the engine right here? Two. And now we need the bacteria, two bacteria, and we need two of the mutagen. So we're gonna come over here and gather more algae and water. Transform that into the bacteria, and then get some methane, transform that into our mutagen. I feel like so scientific saying all these words, but once you do it so often, you just like, you get it. I get it. If you put me on a planet right now without any life, I can make this easy. Easy. 24 hours. No problem. There we are. Algae, algae. I might move this a little bit further out. I don't know. It's not really doing what I want it to at this point. So here, let's put it right, right there. Maybe that'll give us better results. Now I need to make some bacteria. I need two. Two bacteria and two mutagen. Oh, not high enough. One, two. Actually, I need four bacteria because I need bacteria to make the mutagen. Algae, one, two, three, four. Water, one, two, three, four. This is going to be a lot of resources to make two of these rockets. Now I need two of the methane and two sulfur. Let's go grab methane real quick. Oh, I got oxygen in here. That's weird. Two methane. Oh, I have methane. I have a lot of methane. Oh, I just picked this up. Where does this come from? Wait, what? That's my inventory. Uh, two methane and two sulfur. All right, perfect. Let's go unleash these 1000% oxygen rockets, shall we? What am I shy on? Oh, I didn't make the mutagen. Duh. Duh. I have the ingredients. I just didn't make it. There we go. That's why I needed the sulfur and the met methane gas for. Here we go. Okay, there's number one. Launch to space. Thousand percent extra. Thank you very much. Whoa. Goodbye. See ya. Bye. I can still see it. Okay, it's gone. Next. Another one. Go, 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 go. Rocket number two. Launch. Yes. Be free. All right. Let's go check it out. Still 0.04%. Holy crap. Oxygen's flying up there. Heat and biomass. That's what's taking a while. But we're going to get these tree spreaders, hopefully quicker, thanks to what we're doing. And this will help us a lot getting our terraformation up. We'll be able to get the tree spreader volume three after that. Where's our tree spreader one? Because we have two. Right here is two, and then we got three. See, tier spreader, uh, tree spreader tier two, tree spreader tier three. Where is number one at? Uh, oxygen, f walls, gas extractor, flower spreader. I don't think there is a tier one, is there? Beacon, vegetube, vegetube, heater, grass spreader. I do not believe there is a tier one tree spreader. So why is there two and three? What happened to one? I don't understand. I don't get it. Doesn't make sense to me. 
Seed spreader, but that's different. Gives a global generation bonus by spreading seeds from outer space. Yeah, that's what we did. That's what we just launched two of those. Yeah, there is no tier two or tier one. That's strange. I don't like that. I like one, two, three. Like there's drills. On the drills, you got, uh, what is it? Tier one is where? Tier two is right there. I think you start with tier one. Do we start with the tier one tree spreader? Because here's one, two, three, four. And that's one, or well, pretty much one, two. One, two, three, four. We don't have a tree spreader. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty pro positive. We have flower, we have grass. I think they forgot to put the tier one tree spreader in. It is constantly green now, thanks to our endeavors. Oxygen is just flying up there. Holy crap. All right, but that's going to have to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out the Twitter and Discord down in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.